don't go overboard lah, don't go like that lah, because it will smear everything up ah. Okay, you see, right? Oh yeah, say lah. My did no hang already. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why I do that? Can I just stop this for a while? Eh, eh. how to shoot ah? Shoot like that lor. Chick chak chick chak. Hello everyone, welcome back to How To Shoot and this is gonna be our first episode teaching you guys how to use Photoshop to remove dust and scratches the normal way, the very lazy way and also the professional way. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go and subscribe now and also like our Facebook page, follow our Facebook page because more and more knowledgeable content are going to be shared by myself and Nixon and maybe some invited guests. So please go and subscribe now, okay? Without further ado, let's start the Photoshop lesson. Alright guys, I know that uh, nowadays Photoshop can do amazing works but I always believe in shooting your photo as perfect as possible because that will save you a lot of time in post-processing. And so this photo right now here, I'm not going to do much um, extra tweaking because uh, if you look at the color, it is very good thanks to the Panasonic Lumix S5. And what I'm going to be doing is, okay, I'll just increase a little bit, tad bit of the exposure and reduce the contrast a little bit more so that I can get more details and shadow area I'll just bring it up so that there's not much clipping okay what I'm gonna do yeah the great thing about the Photoshop right now right if you see there is this slanted area here it's not that well balanced okay um, I'm going to just very easy one click button it will actually auto correct and the geometry one click button will just auto correct auto straighten everything and then the next step is I will just need to crop away what I is not needed yep and I'm gonna open it up in Photoshop Alright guys, we are in Photoshop right now and I'm going to find a place where there is more visible dust and scratches. I think, yeah, this should be good enough. Right? Good. So I'm going to show you the normal ways that often many people use in Photoshop to remove all these dust and scratches. Okay, number one is going to be, the, of course, the Spot Healing Brush tool, which is very, very easy to use. All you need to do is find the dust and then dab on it and it's gone. Let me show you the before after. Fast right. And, and then the next method is going to be the healing brush tool where you actually need to sample an area that does not have the scratch of course and then just paint it through. Sample. Paint it. Sample. Follow along the line. Sample. Follow along the line. Right. Let me show you the before after. Before after before and after right this is the um, healing brush tool and the next one is gonna be the patch tool the patch tool what you need to do is just select this area that you do not want and then move it to somewhere else but of course you do find places that are similar like that has got similar texture and all right this is gonna be the patch tool okay and some will actually use the clone tool, clone stamp tool. Clone stamp tool, same as the healing brush tool, you will need to sample an area and then brush it away. Sam sample, brush it away. Uh, try not to use the, such a big brush size if you are a very detailed person, if you need to be detailed. Right. Let me show you the before after again. There we go, this is the normal method that a lot of people will be using. I'm going to be showing you right now the lazier way to do, but only use this technique if texture is not important. If texture is not important, alright? But if texture is important, then don't, okay? You still maintain, get a little bit of texture using this method, but not a lot. Let me show you right now. Alright, all you need to do is make a new layer. 
control J and then go on to filter noise dust and scratches right remember to turn on the preview so that you can see um, what they're doing right so I'll advise to go down all to zero and then after that to look at uh, which area okay look at this this is the scratches that we want to remove I'll increase the radius to somewhat until that it is almost gone Hmm. this is fine and then increase back the threshold level okay there's still a little bit texture left and then the scratch are gone then just press ok of course you don't apply to the whole thing la. correct or not you apply to the whole thing then everything become blur so what you need to do is do a mask layer how do you do a mask layer see this little icon here hold on alternate key and press Okay, remember this is a mask okay mask means when it is black it is hidden but if it's white it shows black hidden white shows black hidden white shows so now what we need to do is take a brush too okay and then remember to set it to white because white shows I'll show you how easy is it <laughs> remove 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 oh yeah guys if you're using a mouse like what i'm doing now please don't use the mouse to be more accurate okay use the wacom the drawing tablet mm, wacom never sponsored this so i'm not gonna mention it <laughs> right i'm using wacom now okay so what you need to do right now is just see so easy like color only you can increase the brush size no worries but try not to paint at the edges like especially those places that you want the texture to be there one those sharp edges right if you paint it that easy like that so don't paint at the edges okay just paint on wherever that you think you do not want only do this uh, remember when texture is not that important okay I'm gonna be showing you the before and after right now before after before after before and after right so guys you have seen the first method the normal method right the second method is the dust and scratches that can remove your dust and scratches easily the very very lazy way but it will not work on places that got textures just like this place here right now here I want to remove this line this line but then if I were to use the dust and scratches all the texture is going to be gone and then it become lichen no more texture correct or not and if what if I use the normal way the patch tool let's say show you all you see got this line here outer line here which just make the whole thing not looking natural you got remove one line but they've got many many line come up correct so let's reset this photo again and then right now we are going to be using a method that has been often used by portrait retoucher which is called the frequency separation method who say cannot use on still life who say cannot use to remove all these tiny tiny scratches and dust i tell you can one is the same right let's move on straight to it Okay, what we need to do is Control J, Control J. That means create two layer, and then what you need to do is name this layer color, name this layer texture. This is the frequency separation method that I use. If there is some if other methods that's not work. So at the first layer, the color layer, what you need to do is filter. Like I've already said, you need to do filter blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, not too much. Okay, you bring it. To the 0 0.1 first la, then you slowly increase it until you don't really see much of the line left okay now the upper texture layer is where your texture remains what you need to do is to separate the texture and the color layer away is going to be going to the texture layer go image and then apply image apply image remember if this is set the layer change to the layer color Color, right 
don't do anything else here. Blending mode is subtract. Subtract. Now you can see all the texture coming out. Okay. And then others don't catch up. Press OK. And remember the blending mode here, change it to linear light. And we are done. If you see right now, got no difference one. Correct or not? I turn off these two, got no difference. Okay, well, what we need to do is we start removing it by using the patch tool. At the color layer, let me just group this into a group so that to show you all the difference. On. Before, after, before, after, and then you see the texture is all still there. One. Right? Okay, we are done. Of course, with the three methods. Number one, the normal method. Number two, the lazy method. Number three, the more professional way. <laughs> so if you like what you are watching, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow and like our Facebook page because we are going to be sharing more and more content. And again, thank you very much for joining me. I am Victor Tong. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.